Hey tubers, um, here today with a Remington model 597. It's a uh, newer rifle. Um, it's my friend's rifle. He's uh, had, we took it up to the range shooting. Uh, beautiful scope, I love that scope on it. But it has uh, a problem with the uh, trigger not catching. Like you pull the trigger and it doesn't catch, you pull it a bunch of times and it finally catches. Uh, well, I've already fixed the problem, but I thought I would share with you guys how to fix it because um, if we're having this problem, many other people must be having this problem as well. So the first thing you want to do is pull these screws out. First things first, got to check it for rounds. No magazine. Pull the bolt open. Look down where the the uh, where it goes. It's empty. You want to look up here. Empty. It's like that a few times. All right. No rounds. We're safe. With a uh, an Allen wrench. Just like that. Bolts are down there. Now this stock will separate. All right, next thing you want to do, you want to remove this pin right here. I'm just going to use this Allen wrench and push it in a little bit until it starts coming out the other side. Grab some needle nose and uh, gently pull that out. It really just sits in there. Now that whole trigger group will come out. It's very simple how that sits in there. And go ahead and sit this down there now. Now in this trigger group there's a little inside there. There you go. It's that piece right here. So the trigger Sugar's right there. Let me flip a light on real quick and see if we can get some more light so you can see better. Alrighty, we got two real bright lights above me now. Let me pull that trigger. Now that's supposed to stay solid, but I'm not sure what this pin does right here. It's a little right there. When this gets pulled back, it bends that. And it pops that down, which is kind of a fun thing to set back up again. I've done it so many times tonight that it's I can do it with one hand. So we sit back up again. But for some reason, this is um, must have to do with the slide, with the semi-auto slide, and it uh, disengages it or something. It, maybe it, that's what stops it from going full auto, or I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what this does. But the reason why you have the problem with the trigger uh, becoming unresponsive is this sticks in this position. It does not return. It will actually stick and stay this way. So when you're trying to pull the trigger, you know, it doesn't do squat. It just stays up here and it kind of just moves up here and it doesn't do anything. Now I've fixed this one already. So when that when that returns, it goes right back into its place. As you can see there. It's just right back where it's supposed to be. Trying to get some light in there. Cool. You want to grab uh, some REM oil. Some of this stuff. Some REM oil. And uh, put a few drops. You want to um, go like this and make this this piece drop down like that and then you want to push this back and open this up as far as you can get it like like that and you want there's a little hinge inside there and you want you can see it right there right here right above straight there you want to put 
one or two drops of REM oil right there. Three is okay too, you know, however many drops of oil in there. Put too many drops and it starts uh, dripping down the trigger and gets things oily. So you can see a little oil there and a little there. But that's fine. And then you want to sit here and just play with it. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with that little hinge. Let me set this back up again. I sat here watching TV and played with it this way. You know, popping this back and forth, back and forth. We're pushing this pin or this uh, little lever right here. <laughs> the hair. Um, but I just sat and watched TV for a while, pushing this back and forth, wearing it in. You know, back and forth, back and forth, just probably not not a half an hour, maybe like five, ten minutes. I just did this, and it got really loose. I'm just saying, no, don't just pull this trigger and let the, your hammer come out real fast because it will break something. Um, I've got big enough hands where I can do this with one hand, but you're gonna want to push your hammer down a little bit, pull the trigger, and let it out slowly, just so you don't ruin anything. Um, so, after playing with a bunch like this, with the hammer up, um, I also, you know, let this drop, made it go all funny, and then cycled, or not cycled, but made it bend in a larger way a few times. Just make sure you don't stretch that little spring out, that's down inside there, as you can see there. Make sure you don't stretch that out. Like that's that's as bad as stretch as you want to get it. No more than that. Just make sure you cycle that if you do. Uh, you know, bend that around a few times. You see that's bending quite a bit more. You know, just bend it a whole bunch of times, and then uh, should be uh, just fine to go back in the rifle. Should work just fine. I'm um, gonna reassemble it now. It's really simple. This piece drops in here like that. This pin drops in there like that. That, that group doesn't go anywhere, which is a good thing. Then grab your stock. You can drop your full assembly into the stock. A second. It's hard to uh, reassemble again with one hand. A rifle for those who are technical about there. Oop, pin fell out. Well, I'm going to reassemble this off-camera so I have both hands to do it. Alright, when I'm putting these bolts back in, the shorter one goes in the front, the longer one goes in the back. Shorter one goes here. Longer one goes here. Then you're going at one, two, Start to tighten these up. Alrighty, just tightening these up now. You want to make sure not to over tighten. Um, I'm just tightening just with this. If I put it this way and tightened it, there's a risk of um, damaging the stock. So all you need to do is, you know, just snug it down. It's not going to go anywhere. And uh, that's how you fix the, the firing problem in a uh, Remington Model 95, Model 597. Let's see. There you go. Now, as for uh, this is a Rimfire 22. Uh, of course, 22 being room fire. Now, there are some 22s out there that are center fire. That would be a 22 mag. Um, but with center fire pistols and rifles, 
dry firing will destroy them. Now I did just dry fire it twice. Um, that's because I just did a repair, just making sure it worked. Um, first thing you want to do anyways before you work on a gun is uh, check for that which we did. Um, uh, let's see. But dry firing uh, rim fire will destroy them. Um, I've been told center fire is fine to dry fire but I still wouldn't you know just after a repair or something you've done just to cycle it to make sure that's it you know don't just sit and dry fire them I've seen guys destroy their rifles it's not a fun sight so hope you enjoyed YouTube if you could go and uh, give me a thumbs up if you could subscribe and comment tell me what you think about the video um, that'd be great see you later youtubers Bye.